Hey everyone, we just launched our Justice League Hizzy and I'm noticing a lot of people have asked, why does Martha look like Adam Warlock? So we thought we'd take a little time to explain what the heck is this Martha character. I am Martha. We had this idea to create our own supervillain to one day attack the super cafe. So when Guardians of the Galaxy 2 hinted that Aisha was growing a secret weapon called Adam, we thought that seemed like the best place to hatch our new character. I think I shall call him... Martha. So then we set plans to put together a little easter egg sequence to show Martha's journey to the super cafe. But we found it was kind of challenging to fit him in every episode while we were trying to also focus on animated shorts. So he only pops up a few times in the superhero episodes. And I'm going to show you those episodes now. The first is in How Wonder Woman Should Have Ended where Martha officially makes it to Earth. The second time Martha's mentioned in the Spider-Man Homecoming where MJ is doodling in her sketchbook. What are you doing here? You're not a superhero. I like to sketch people in crisis. <laughs> it's you. What the? Oops, not that one. This one. <laughs> You're so mean. This is sort of a hint of what Martha is and sort of a prophecy of what's to come. Batman really should have paid more attention. That was very un-Batman of him. The last time you see Martha is kind of hidden, but it reveals that Martha has indeed found the cafe. What do you mean? Everything is back to normal. Brother and I are together again. I have my hammer. I have my hair. I don't have a girlfriend currently, but that's not even a problem for me. 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 Everything is back to normal. We did this to show that Martha has found them, but perhaps he's waiting to make his move. He doesn't attack because Thor isn't the reason why Martha hates the Super Cafe. Initially, we weren't sure if Martha's conclusion was going to happen in the Justice League or Infinity War, how it should have ended. After Justice League happened, we decided that was the right time, and Martha could represent DC's greatest foe, an angry, over-the-top fanboy. Next was finding Martha's voice, which was a whole other element of surprise we wanted to add. Who would you guys never expect to be the voice of Martha? So we contacted James from The Odd Ones Out, and he was totally on board. Here we go, Martha, by the odd ones out. Like who, like Darkseid? No, like me. <laughs> okay, that was a normal laugh, not a super villain laugh. <laughs> now I'm doing the death sounds. Like... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how many more death sounds you want. Uh, like my neck, my neck gets snapped. <laughs> and after that, it was time to let them fight, or not fight. And that's really the whole neck snapping story. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun to do. And I guess the real question is: Is Martha actually dead? Right now, he is, but there are no rules in this game. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. If you want to see any of these Martha clips in their entirety, check the links in the cards. Uh, be sure to follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and we'll see you next time. Bye!